Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, where we're here in Vermilion City at night and it's time to earn a badge because there's really not much else to do here besides the gym for us right now. Luckily we have Cut on our team. Alright, into the gym we go. Luckily we don't have to worry about his silly little traps, so let's just go ahead and fight his trainers and get it over with. Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Vincent. That's some different battle music for this fight. Oh no, it's a Magnemite. Good thing I swapped Rocky into my first slot. Alright. Time to Earthquake. You could say it's overkill, because it definitely is. But goodbye, Magnemite. Alright, what's next? Voltorb. I think we'll hold on to Rocky for this. But we'll rock through this time. Hopefully it doesn't miss. We raised his special defense. It missed! Dang it, I jinxed it. Alright, goodbye Voltorb. I would just use Earthquake over and over, but the PP is not very high, and I don't want to have to go back to the Poke Center. So we will only use it on the Magnemites. Goodbye, Magnemite. Thank you for the free XP. Alright. Oh, another Magnemite. How nice. Realistically, we don't have to use Rocky for this. We're high enough level where Firebird could easily take on the Magnemites, but, you know, it seems like the thing to do to actually give him a turn, a chance to be in the spotlight, and gain a few levels. Ooh, how shocking! Oh no. I'm going to take you down. Prepare to be shocked. I remember the old rumors that, I think it was in Gen 1, that like if you triggered two trainers in the same step that the game would crash or glitch or something. But Horton here proves that's not a real thing. Rock throw. Reliable to get exploded, though. Which is unfortunate. But should be fine. I'm not too concerned here. Yep, goodbye. Level up time. Very nice. Electrode again. Do we just try rollout here? That could be fun. I've not had a good use of rollout yet. I tried to use it when I was training on the league, but I just kept getting confuser aid over and over. It was very annoying. Oh, he's got rollout too. Nice. It's a competition. Except I think I win this competition. Alright. And now we're set up for the next one, whatever it is. Oh wow, another Electrode. It's a good thing he sent them out of order so that he could send that Electrode before the other Electrode. Oh, it's using Rollout too. Yeah, you might be in trouble, dude. Goodbye. Yeah. Not great. And finally, oh, it's an Electrode. Who could have seen that coming? I wonder if it can take Rollout. Oh, it tried Rollout, but it missed. How sad. Goodbye, Electrode. None of you even blew up, which is kind of weird. Alright, Orton is down. Wah, I was overpowered. Alright, what about you, old man? You're here to defeat Lieutenant Surge? Not if I can help it. Gregory, huh? He's got a Pikachu, how nice. Eventually, we'll be able to get a Pikachu. It's just a long way into the game. Not double team. Dang it, Pikachu. You're lucky you're cute. Goodbye. 
And Flaffy. Okay, well, that's fine. I miss having a Flaffy. Or specifically an Ampharos. Ampharos. Oh no, Cotton Spore. Not my speed, anything but that. Now I definitely can't win. Oh wait. Goodbye, Flaffy. Oh, so close to another level. Sorry, I failed you, Lieutenant Surge, sir. I don't think I said that with the right intonation, but whatever. Onwards to Surge. Hey, you little tyke. I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Too bad he never made general, huh? Right, you. That is one big boyo. The big Chungus for sure. He's about to get earthquaked. I think Lieutenant Surge's entire team is about to get earthquaked. If I had to guess. And they're not exactly a dangerous level. Very nice. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, an electrode. Wow. Exciting. I think maybe we'll try an Earthquake. Ooh, Double Team, that is annoying. Oh, but it didn't matter. Definitely prefer Double Team over Sand Attack, though. Because at least when you faint him, he goes away. Don't want to have to switch Pokemon. This is Rocky's time to shine. He's going to gain another level, probably. Ooh, Electabuzz. Haven't seen very many of those, if any. You would think that adding all the baby forms would have been so that they could have Pokemon like Electabuzz and Magmar appear earlier in the game, but they actually put them in even later into the game. It's kind of weird. Ooh, Magneton. Not the first Magneton we've seen, and probably won't be the last, but it's going away. Who is next? Who will give us our level? It's another Electrode. Not exciting. Oh, double team again? Electrode, you're just obnoxious. Luckily, we have a couple spare PPs. And then he uses Swift as if I'm the one who's being evasive. Alright, Electrode. It was a good attempt. You did more than some of the Pokémon, I guess. But thanks for the level. Arg, you are strong! Okay, kid, you get Thunder Badge! Hooray! Thunder Badge increases Pokémon's speed. Consider it proof that you defeated me. You wear it proudly, here? They don't even give you TMs in Kanto, so rude. Alright, well, that's another gym down and out. Seven to go. It's kind of weird doing them all out of order. But it is what it is. I believe we head north next. We will heal up first. You know, you never really talk to people in the... Pokemon centers. It'd be nice if more of them were useful. Like, this guy feels like he should be useful. Let me see what he says. He's just staring at me. Oh. A sleeping Pokemon is lying in front of Diglett's cave. It's a fantastic opportunity to get it, but how do you wake it up? I don't know, poke it with a stick? That usually works. All right, here we are, Route 6. We got these guys being suspicious, hanging out in the middle of the night. 
My fan pee is the cutest in the world. Is that so? He's hanging out in the middle of the night with his kid. It's just kind of weird. Like, isn't it past your kid's bedtime, sir? Oh, what is Earthquake fan pee? I don't care. Let me look at what Pokemon are on this route. Anything interesting? Uh, Snubble, Meowth, Drowsy. Oh, Psyduck. I don't know if we have a Psyduck or not. It's only a 10% chance, though. There's Magnemite, too. And Jigglypuff. But we already have Jigglypuff, so I don't care about Jigglypuff anyway. My Teddy Ursa is the cutest in the world! Interesting. One Pokemon. Wow, it's a Teddy Ursa. Who saw that coming? I should probably switch someone else into the front of the team. I'm thinking Bayonetta. I still want to get a few more levels on Bayonetta. Especially for whenever we finally run into Raikou and Entei again. It would be nice if Bayonetta was, you know, significantly higher level than them. Sorry, Alan. Your Teddy Ursa is a loser. Anyway, yeah, let's get Bayonetta over to the front. This is some good music. There. I don't know if I want to do any capturing. What's this guy say? The road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. Oh, right. The power is out, and yet... Most people seem to be living fine without power. You know, Poke Center still work. I guess it's peak of power, right? Well, we got a drowsy, but... <laughs> level 13. Do we look around? I mean, I could check the Pokedex. It's just so slow to search, and I don't know the other things. So yeah, we will try. Do we have Psyduck? That's the only Pokemon that I'm concerned about here. I know we've seen one. I know we saw one, because we saw it, like, last episode. Does this only show captured Pokémon? Or is it Psychic as its first type? Is, I didn't think it was even Psychic type. I don't remember. It's not. It's only showing captured Pokémon, yeah. I figured. I guess I should have realized, like, I've definitely seen water. Um types that I haven't caught. You know, like, Thralligator. Hey, look at that, Psyduck. I didn't even need to waste time. It just happened. 10% chance. Who would have guessed? Alright, False Swipe. Ow, it did two damage. Terrible. Just terrible. Try a Great Ball. Why not? Alright, Psyduck was caught. The only time it can use its psychic power is when its sleeping brain cells happen to wake. Huh, that's different than they normally say. Is this a male or female Psyduck? Female, perfect. There we go. Now we have Misty on our team. Alright, I think we can just go through this thing, which feels backwards, but it is the truth. Alright, here we are, good old Saffron City. We don't really need a Poké Center right now. We do need to find the girl that gives you Psychic, though. This is Sylphco. They should have an item for us as well. I don't know who we get it from, though. Welcome, this is Sylphco's head office building. Alright, you're not the person. Only employees are permitted to go upstairs. But since you came such a long way, have this neat little souvenir. There, now we can evolve Porygon, if we get a Porygon. Uh, it's not for sale anywhere yet. Yep. Very good, very good. Alright, continuing upwards. Is this the house? I think it is. 
My daughter is so self-centered. She only has a few friends. Okay, this is not the house. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. Yeah, that's who we're looking for. Oh, she's upstairs. There's stairs hidden here. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm? Quit mimicking? But that's my favorite hobby. Oh, okay, well. I thought she was the one who gave us the thing. No, she's the one that you give the doll to? I don't know. She does something in this game. I don't think we're ready for it yet, then. I just could have sworn the psychic guy was on that side of the town, but no, I guess I remember him being, like, the bottom right. I do believe that. You know... Oh, we have fishing rod. I was gonna say, we haven't been using the bike, but it doesn't matter because... I don't have it set up right now. Admittedly, we don't do much walking. Nothing, yeah, nothing here. This has got to be the psychic house here, then. Mr. Psychic. You don't look like a psychic. I got it! You wanted this! I actually did, though. TM-29 is psychic. It may lower the target's special defense, as if it wasn't powerful enough already. And for once, I'm actually going to use a TM as soon as I get it. Admittedly, I probably should use some more of my TMs. Like, I could have given Shadow Ball to Gengar, for example. But you only get one use, and I don't want to misuse them. But I feel like Frozen deserves Psychic. Since she won't learn it ever, or any other Psychic-type move. So we will get rid of Body Slam, because why? There we go. Frozen is now significantly more useful, which is pretty good. Now, what else can we do in this episode? I think that's just about it for the town besides fighting stuff. So let's go up to the fighting gym. Which we don't actually fight, I think. I think they just give us an item. Hello! Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Johto for training. Good stuff. I'll just steal this from you then. Thank you for the focus band. Alright, well... What else do we do besides just fighting Sabrina? Um, are there more Pokémon nearby? That's a good question. We have Route 7 which has, oh, it has Murkrow and Houndour, and it's night right now. We definitely want that. Uh, Route 7, which one is that? I think that's the one to the west. I don't think it'll stop us from going there, just because we haven't beaten the gym. I want to take advantage of it being night, because it probably won't be next episode. Alright, Route 7. We got two very important Pokémon capture here. Murkrow is important because it was one of the options I considered as a flying Pokemon. Though it's not a very good battler from what I hear. And then Houndour is just supposed to be a good Pokemon to have. Like Houndoom's like a good choice for the final battle of the game. I don't know that I'll use it, but I do kind of like having a Houndoom on my team. Conceptually speaking. Great ball, go! Let's see, what else appears on this route at night? Abra, Jigglypuff, Meow version. Nothing exciting. Alright, um, the Great Ball. I wonder if we can go the other directions. Like, can we go up to Cerulean City? Or east? Or will something stop us from going those directions? This Murkrow just doesn't want to behave, does it? And we we could use Lovely Kiss on it, I guess. If it escapes us, I think we will. I read that it's apparently a bug that sleep is the only one that increases capture chance. I don't know if it's a bug that it increases it, or a bug that Paralyze doesn't. And I think Freeze normally would too. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Frozen. There you are. 
our newly upgraded Frozen. It was actually very useful. Way more useful than I expected. All stat changes were eliminated. Wow, good work. Go to sleep, please. I'm tired of wasting great balls on you. Alright. Great ball, go! Very good. We did it. Do we have an Avra, I wonder? We've got to, right? It hides any shiny object it finds in a secret location. Murkrow and Meowth loot one another's stashes. I like that, because they did put Meowth on the same route as it. Now what? Yeah, hello? Arnie calling. Are you awake now, Kabob? Hey, let's battle our Pokemon. I won't lose to you battling or in the bug catching contest. I'll be here on Route 35. So many of them have called me now and I have not answered a single one. Um... Just another Murkrow. The battle music sounds a bit different, though. Than I remember it. I do like that the phone call at least acknowledges that it's nighttime. Wow, another Murkrow. Can we get something else? AKA Hound Hour? It's just really weird how many of like, the unique Gen 2 Pokémon actually appear in Kanto. But oh well. I'm getting tired of these Murkrows, though, that's for sure. I thought this would be a real quick trip. They're not that rare. You've not even seen anything other than Murkrow. Okay, there we go. We've got a doggo. A little doge. He's gonna get false swiped into oblivion. Oh no, not Leer. Alright. We're gonna hope that Hound Hour is easier to capture than Murkrow. Alright. Around dawn, its ominous howl echoes through the area to announce that this is its territory. That sounds annoying. Alright, well, that is capturing complete. Next episode, we will be doing the gym, and then we'll be done with this area and moving on to the next town. I'll see you guys then. Bye!